Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. <sighs> so, it has been a hot minute since I last recorded because I was busy with some real life stuff, but we're back. Uh, and I also figured out uh, we. <laughs> This campaign, like within the camp, within the context of like days that have gone by, uh, has gone on for ten years since we took over command of this mercenary company. Ten years, and everybody looks just fine, which uh, I think is just more evidence to the fact that I don't think they're entirely human. I think he heard me. Okay, well. Either way, uh, we have some stuff we're doing. We're fixing up uh, a lot of our mechs. Uh, we did. We do have quite a few new ones, uh, or I guess we have a Warhammer that we got for a reward uh, because we recently because uh, we did some stuff. If we, do the, if we check out the star map, here we go. Uh, we did our uh, what do you call it? Uh, what you might call it, the uh, yeah. There's a campaign mission down there. We did our strike back. Is that what we did, or we did, the, or did we do? I think that's what we did. It's been a long time since I last recorded, so uh, it's been a while. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, some grinding to do. Uh, before we do that, I wanted to check. We've got. Cerberus Hounds Part 2 is a pending transmission. You have protected loyal citizens thus far, but the fight against our great enemy is far from over. Uh, the Davianists will not stop until they are either victorious or they destroyed. See to it that you ensure the latter and not the former. Uh, continue to aid us in our fight against uh, our oppressors, and you shall be rewarded. While you held off the first uh, Kittery Borderer's initial assault, the... Cerberus Hounds have vected most of their non-combatants and will be sending you reserves shortly. In the meantime, it is recommended that you lure the Davian troops into the Badlands and hold them there as long as possible. You'll be provided with maps that should enable you to plan an effective game of cat and mouse in order to buy you the time needed for the relief forces to arrive. Get some money, some small lasers, some large lasers. Alright. So where is this at? down here. Okay. We can do that. We just need to... Mm, do we wait here? A lot of things need to be repaired. I think we just head out and hope that everything's repaired by the time I get down there. Set course. All right. <sighs> Ten years of combat, folks. Ten years. Battle mech, Centurions lost its chest. That needs to be fixed. Barracks looking good. Captain Peacock, our resident badass. We'll wait 20 days. All right. And it's a war zone contract. 230 ton limit. Got seven negotiation points. Negotiation points. Uh, let's check. What do we have in cold storage? Phoenix Hawk. Oh. Load out. Oh, oh, right. This was the... Uh, was this one we just got out of... Uh, right... Right, that's our actual centurion. Okay, I'm getting. I was getting confused. Uh, actually, you're just going to go into cold storage. That gives us a little extra warhammer. That might be something we look into. Okay. So yeah, we definitely want to go ahead and get some salvage shares, and then a bit of money on top of that. Except. So let's see here. 55, 50, 50, 70. 
Got an extra five pounds we can put in. We don't have anything that's a 60 tonner that I can see, 65 tonner. We'd have to drop weight on everything else. I think this will work. This is our pretty standard loadout, so we'll go ahead and just go with this with our grasshopper, which has been working fine for us. Uh, so we're loading up. Yeah, no, I was surprised when I saw how much, how many days had passed in the campaign. We're over 3,000. We are 10 point, I think it was 10.44 years past. Which, uh, wow. I mean, at some point, <clears throat> we have to retire from frontline service, right? I guess I don't, I guess I don't know the, uh, like the life expectancy age uh, for a mech warrior in the mech warrior or in the Battletech universe. Your previous defense of Capilan territory seems to have saved a lot of lives and countless more civilians are being evacuated by the Cerberus hounds to neighboring planets. We'll need All to right. keep Kittery forces away from the evacuation sites in order to ensure they all get away cleanly. That means okay. it's time to put your neck on the line. Your job is to stage a diversion and hold off the forces for as long as you can. The Capulans have provided us maps of these badlands, okay. outlining where you should start. Good luck. Yeah. All right. Here we, ah, I forgot to mute myself on Discord. Damn it. Okay, you got a spider in there. I'm not seeing any other combatants. Except you, which are now dead. Oh, where are they at? Come on. Got him. All right. His chest is open. All right. They are converging on your position. Brace for hostile contact. What do we got in terms of friendlies? Is it just an aircraft? Looks like it's just an aircraft. All right. Oh no, then we got a light mech here. All right, too close. Alright, his arm's fucked. Got him. Okay. All right, he's damaged. Additional tangos en route to your position, Commander. Oh, okay. We also got a, a ballistic uh, hunchback. That's good. Well, they're trying to hit those choppers, but they're not succeeding. All right. Jump jet fuel empty. Boop. Okay. Tango down. Oh. Alright, up, up, up. Okay. There's an arm. 
Point blank shot. I got it. Okay. Up and over. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Don't Contact. Alright. We damaged him. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's dead. Enemy reinforcements spotted in the area. They look like they're heading your way. Target acquired. Get that helicopter out of the air. Got him. Got him. Got hit. Okay. Got him. Heavily damaged. Got him. Okay. Locust. Fire those missiles. Got him. Enemy in the vicinity. Be on the lookout. The Here they come, close in. All right. Use the buildings as cover. Got him. Come on, come on, come on. His chest is open. Got him. Damn it, I was trying to get his his cockpit. Got his weapon systems. Alright. No need to worry about the actual buildings. Getting out of here. Alright, we're trying to get out of here. Come on. Ooh, 
Cavalry is here, Commander. Prepare for mech extraction. That right, didn't get the shot out, but or I didn't get the kill, but doesn't matter. Hopefully, pretty minimal in terms of damage. Okay, what do we got in terms of value? Got that mech. A couple of lasers, SRM, another laser, and that's good. So, I think that was the un that was the non-weapon arm, I'm thinking. Yeah, non-weapon arm for Peacock's Griffin, so that worked out. Should be fairly good. Thank you for your efforts in defending our honored citizens. Even though the Cerberus Hound's ancestors were not Capellans by uh, birth, the Hounds themselves stand as a testament to the Capellan ideal that everybody has a right to earn citizenship in this great nation. We thank you for preserving our people and, most importantly, our valuable military assets. So large lasers, tier 3, a couple of tier 3 small lasers, some rep, and money. Not bad. So this panther, we're going to strip repair. Start work there. Repair you. Repair you. Repair you. And the griffin. Yeah, just needs a repair. Not bad. So we've done that. We can go to high reward down here. Work our way towards another campaign mission, this time in Merrick territory, which would be kind of nice. I'm thinking we go ahead and we check out Rare Mech, just to see what they got, and sell off some of our spare mechs that we have in our bays in cold storage. So, 20 days. Okay. go just get all this repaired let's check out the market <clears throat> a catapult not a bad purchase hunchback this one is a single AC 20 AC 10 missile variant thunderbolts with all of its components just a little damage on the armor and a Warhammer. Not a bad Warhammer either. Hmm. Alright, let's look about uh, selling off some of our Max Phoenix Hawk. Get rid of it. Centurion. Get rid of it. Panther. Get rid of it. That gets us 15k. More than enough to pick up this Warhammer if we wanted to have two Warhammers. Thunderbolt, 65 tonner. When the procurement officer outlined the requ outline requirements for a mobile mech with enough firepower to destroy or severely damage any Okay, we've already read this. Uh, Warhammer's a nice mech. It's a lot of hunchbacks. And not the one that I want, though. I want a pure energy hunchback, which is not the H. It's close, though, because it does have two laser mounts underneath the main uh, armament. Okay, let's check our let's check their equipment and see what we can pick up. Okay, AC5 BF, we want to get a couple of those, because we need them. AC2 BFs, we need those for our Jaeger. We are purchasing, we're not selling, that's good. Uh, some tier 2 medium, pick that up. Tier 2 PPC, pick that up. Alright, and in our inventory, we want to get rid of... Let's see if we got anything to get rid of... Some SRMs. We don't need any of them. 
SRM ammo. We will keep the Artemis just because. One ton of ammunition for Artemis 4. Uh, equipped short range missiles. Short range missile system that fires five unguided missiles with improved spread. Yeah, we'll keep that. Uh, we can get rid of the basic PPC. Get rid of the basic LRM-10. We don't need that. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think we're good there. Check out barracks. Got anything to hire? That's decent. Hmm. Captain Tucker. You put something in my sights? I'm taking it down. Uh, it's decent, actually. She's a decent pilot. I know your story, and I'm ready to be of assistance, Commander. She would be the only one, you Captain put Tucker. In my sights? I'm taking it down. She's happy to jump even into the most dangerous. Okay, so numerous generations of Captain Tucker's family were workers on a once proud Liar shipyard. Over the years, the company's fortunes dwindled and it eventually faded into irrelevant irrelevance. Suddenly able to forge a life outside of the shipyard, she decided to take her destiny on or take her destiny into her own hands as a mercenary. She's seen combat enough times to have become a reliable pilot. Nonetheless, she still feels like she has more to prove. She's happy to jump even into the most dangerous situations. I'll pick her up. Her ballistics are really shit, but she's got a decent missile energy uh, skills, and her, her piloting skills aren't bad either. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hire her. I know your story, and I'm. We're going to get rid of... Let's see here. We're going to get rid of Lieutenant... Uh, Escolebo? Escolebo? I don't know how to pronounce uh, her name, but she is not that great overall. So we're going to dismiss her. We'll keep uh, everyone else, though. I think they're fairly good. Okay. Not bad. Star map. Let's head down to uh, this area. Start grinding out missions. Heading towards campaign mission. Why not? So, uh, hero mech and some rare weapons. We'll take a look at this, though, just in case. We have a shit ton of money. All right. Let's see what we got here. ERPPC, a Narc, a Hero Mech Banshee, and an LRM-20 with Artemis. So let's check that Banshee. First fielded by the Terran hegemony in the mid-25th century, the Banshee was originally intended to fulfill a close combat role. However, poor performance on the battlefield... Ah, oh, we've already read that. Uh, but let's see what we got here for Banshee. Uh, so, SP, <sighs> SP medium, la okay, oh, those are pulse lasers, okay, so we got a small pulse laser, medium pulse laser, and a large pulse laser, uh, LRM-15, a PPC, and an AC-10, not a bad little one, almost 100 tonner right there, Stalker, these are assault mechs, Originally designed by the Triad Technologies in 2594, the Stalker has been a workhorse assault mech of the Inner Sphere for more than 200 years and served with distinction in the Star League Defense Forces for two centuries prior to that. The Stalker is a powerhouse of a mech mounting a mix of heavy weapons, heavy weaponry and heavy armor. Uh, while no one will ever accuse the Stalker of being fast, few will claim it is easy to stop. It's true. Uh, Victor, originally built contract. Do you like the idea of maybe having a an assault mech? An 85 tonner is not bad. That's uh, it's a missile stalker, so you're looking at uh, two LRM-10s, two SRM-6s for those close-in splats. Uh, a lot of medium lasers. A lot of armor. 
max speed less than 50 kilometers per hour. Oh, six mil. Let's check out equipment. We do have some. So SRM6 plus Artemis. Oh, that's our inventory. Uh, ER PPC, extended range. LRM20, Artemis 4. A NARC, specialized missile launcher that fires a projectile that affixes to its target. Improved missile locks and accuracy. NARC missile beacon. That is actually a really nice thing to have. But we... I don't think we're going to pick it up. It's never never really worked out. I never, I never liked those specialty things, and I don't trust the AI to do it on their own. So, okay, let's head in and let's start doing some of these contracts. Into Merrick Space! Alright. What do we got for contracts? A couple of Merrick contracts and a Liao contract. I'm thinking we need to start doing some Liao or some Merrick stuff because we're going into their territory. So an important political refugee is seeking our protection. This is against... who's the target? Liao. Uh, seeking our protection. We've learned that House Liao forces have found where they're hiding and are on the way. Get their ASAP, our ASAP, and hold them off. Our recovery team will be right behind you. This is a defense mission. Uh, not a war zone mission, with a fairly decent payout. Okay, I'm thinking we just get high pay, we get moderate pay, and a decent amount of salvage shares. We just go ahead. 230 tons, which is our standard mech uh, party, our standard mech lance. We'll be going with this go ahead and we just uh, start doing some damage. Also, don't think I didn't notice that our payroll and maintenance is going up pretty high. We're at almost half a million every two months. Or, or is it every three months? Uh, I forget how long in between payments. We'll have to check that out. But I'm ready. Let's go ahead and do this. Facilities are being threatened right. by hostile forces in the area. On-site defenders are in dire need of reinforcements. Make contact with friendly forces and prepare for incoming hostiles. Okay. Let's let's go in there. I mean, not necessarily actually in there because we are uh, bound to cause more damage than the enemy when we're inside. <laughs> Uh, built up area. We're at target location, and not a moment too soon. Ah, glad you can make it, Commander. We've holed up as best we can, but these assholes keep probing our defenses. They're gonna try and take us down, I'm sure of it. That's why we call. Try your best to spare us as much Ooh. destruction as you can. Too this close. Is still our home. Nothing on scopes at the moment, but don't get comfortable. Hostiles have been reported in the area. Alright. God damn it, Peacock. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Target acquired. Peacock is deadly with those missiles. We're getting hammered here. You need to take these guys. Yeah, yeah, we're here. He's hard. He's hit very hard. Got him. Alright, heavily damaged there. Got you. Got you. Alright. 
All right. Okay, missed. Target destroyed. Got you. Target okay. Got you. Air down. Air is down. Jump jet fuel. Jump jet fuel. Amazing, Commander. Nice. Got him. Stay out of there, friendly! Oh, he's down. Enemy mech town. Literally ran over a blowing up mech. Oh, I feel bad. Ah, clip the walls. All right. I think we are standing on a wall right now. Reconnaissance flights show increased enemy presence in the vicinity. Be on the lookout for further hostiles. Okay. Target acquired. Acquired target. Target destroyed. Destroyed. Enemy eliminated. He's down. Where are the mechs? Other side of the compound. Up. Got you. Enemy destroyed. Jump jet fuel empty. Got you. Trying to get up to the top of this tower. Target acquired. Come on. Got him. down. Gotcha. Got you. Get some altitude. Did hit his head. His cockpit. Cross, cut across. Don't give them the opportunity to cause any more harm. He's down. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Whew. Target acquired. Target. Recon reports additional right, 
down. Is entering the engagement area, Commando. Be on the lookout for them. Tango down. Acquired. Okay. Alright, heavily damaged him. Jump jet fuel blown. Jump jet fuel empty. Okay, up and over. Destroyed. Got him. Target acquired. Alright. He's damaged. Out, 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 out. Jump jet fuel blown. Jump jet fuel empty. Dominic acquired. Dominic destroyed. He's down. I should punch out. Where are the rest of them? Target acquired. Got him. Dominic destroyed. Well done, Commander. The area is secure. Whew. Not a bad mission there. Hope we got through that without too many casualties. Well, without too much damage. Okay, we can get a javelin out of this. Large laser. Then, uh... Medium tier two. Nobody lost anything major. Most damage was to the hunchback, and I think that was because of that critical. But uh, yeah, not bad. Okay. So with that, we can actually go ahead and we can just repair all of our mechs, and they'll be good to go. All right. Not bad. Uh, but we'll have to wait to do the other missions in this system next time because we are at time for this episode. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you'd like to please leave a comment down below, hit the like button. If you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!